Hi, um, today's video is going to be about my latest custom, um, this oversized KO Masterpiece Grimlock, also known as Reximus Prime. I recently acquired this piece uh, for fairly cheap because everyone's dumping Reximus now, seeing that Giga Power has released an apparent better version of Masterpiece Grimlock, their Super Raider. Uh, quiet like Super Raider, but not as much as I like um, this Reximus Prime. Uh, this version of Prime to me is the ideal uh, masterpiece Grimlock. Uh, I quite like this head that uh, came with this version, which was the comic version uh, of Reximus Prime. It came with an additional head, and this head, uh, I tend to see this head as Grimlock's Berserker mood head, and it looks really, really great. So what I've done is I've uh, now given it a metallic blue satin uh, kind of paint job for all uh, his blue uh, plastic bits, right? And I think it's given him a much, much better look as you get to see all the definition and all the lines of the sculpt, which is fantastic. I've added some uh, black bits to the vents, fused the uh, Autobot logo right over there so that it no longer has that silly spring mechanism that doesn't really work. Um, added some details in on uh, the vents over here as well, as you can see. Minor, minor details there. I didn't want to go for the Giga Power look, look because the Giga Power uh, version of Grimlock has quite a lot of additional uh, colors, reds, uh, greens, yellows, here and there, more detail. I just want to keep this very much in line with its original MP08X kind of appearance, which is the comic version of Grimlock. And um, what I've also done is gave him articulated fingers. So I receive an all um, perfect grade uh, Gundam uh, from uh, a collector who didn't want it anymore. And I had that for about three years. And um, the good thing was uh, because I saw the potential for the hands to be reused on some other figure and now finally it gets to fit uh, or gets an opportunity to be now uh, uh, placed here on this Grimlock which is way way fantastic it fits really nicely maybe a bit thin for some but to me it's great because uh, articulation for these fingers are fantastic and you also get uh, on top of a swivel you got a ball joint right but you can actually swivel his or twist his wrist forward, bend it forward and bend it down like that as well. There's another joint in here on top of the ball joint uh, which makes this really really fantastic. So when this was done then uh, the weapons needed to be modified as well. So what I did was I changed all the handles for the weapons so this sword had a huge... Uh, I had to rework the sword dismantle it, remove all the electronics in Grimlock anyway and then uh, in here originally was a clear plastic piece and then I resprayed it orange, painted it orange, got rid of all the chrome, painted this red, put in a new hilt, right? This hilt now fits with these hands because what this hilt has got is it's got a little groove here and these hands have actually got a little peg to then peg into uh, the sword. So it's very very sturdy Okay, doesn't bend. Uh, all right, it's really great. I did the same thing for his weapon as well. So as you can see, his gun, his gun when I received it was terrible. All right, you've got that shitty looking uh, blue plastic, which was really, really dead. And then um, a lot of leftover plastic sprue bits on the top of the, the rifle as well. So this has had to be shaved off and then filed down and sanded so that it looked natural. I was actually quite keen to paint this, repaint this uh, uh, smoky black, but then I thought I just wanted to retain the original look of, of uh, the comic Grimlock and just kind of make it look better. Yeah, so, so now he's got a new gun handle, same uh, kind of handle that will fit nicely for these new hands because of the grooves that they've got here and it fits into the peg, the new pegs in the hands. And for Grimlock, what else uh, I've done is just for the legs, for example, a bit more detail on the vent. 
vents over there. I did not add too much color because as you can see over here, I could have painted this gold and all that, but I just wanted to retain the original look and not go crazy. I was actually quite tempted to weather this Grimlock. As you're aware, I'm quite a crazy weathering fan. I like to weather my bots, uh, but for this one, because I wanted to ensure that he's still um, uh, fit with the rest of my Giga Power Dinobots. Uh, he just had to have a specific kind of clean look uh, to that. Uh, the only bits that I've done that may co be considered as mild weathering is for these bits, uh, these trusters to look like they're a little burnt out. Yeah, and a bit of orange in there as well. Uh, just to give it like a bit of a realistic feel for that bit. And aside from there, nothing else much further done for this Reximus. Thanks for watching and until uh, next time, until my next custom, bye-bye. Um,